Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Message channel. I am Mitchell and this is your intuitive message, energy forecast, some development, answering your questions for today, Thursday, August the 7th, 2014. As always, thank you for taking time to watch, to listen, to retweet, to post, to subscribe to YouTube and become silence, become a fan on my Facebook page, Intuitive Mitchell, um, facebook.com forward slash Intuitive Mitchell. Just check. Um, yes. So that needs some coffee. That needs a cup of a sip of coffee. Um, and thank you for the wink the other day. Who was that? Jake? Um, so thank you for that. But anyway, yes. So if you have questions about development, um, intuitive nature, you know, ghost spirits, uh, you know, something about life. If it's astrology, I may not know much. But you can go to my fan page, the Intuitive Mitchell page on Facebook. And post uh, a question there. I'm not. I, I promise I'll read them all, but I, I'm not going to be able to answer them all. I'm just going to let spirit guide me to which ones we answer because I got my my one today. It's a little bit about animal communication and energy, but uh, just going to kind of get back to that and see where it leads us. Um, I'm enjoying that part. So where am I going with this? So yes, um, today today is number seven. Seven is that whole energy for the year. So you're going to feel some of that chariot energy coming back in today. For the rest of this year, we're going to feel that every time we cross the seven day. So chariot energy, very, I almost said very bipolar. And that's kind of what it's like. It's, it's this way or that way. The pendulum swings pretty far, pretty fast. Not a whole lot of middle ground. Quick decisions, fast, um, often, you know, polarized. That's the word I work, look for. But if you add up all the numbers today, you get number 22. So today's kind of got a little bit of turbocharged kick to it. So if you're creating today, you're and you're always creating, it's going to create extra strong, extra power. Powerful. So step into the things you really, really want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Zigga, zigga, ah, uh, zigga, zaga, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And yes, for those of you around my age, we'll get that in a few younger, years younger. But definitely realize that what you're, what's going on, creating, thinking, co-creating, miscreating, mishappen, um, it's happening fast and quick because of this 22 energy today, which also boils down to number four, which is our emperor, so very strong, masculine presence, leader, you know, king, emperor, but someone who also has very uh, feminine energy, knows where to just take a sip. And not push too hard to get things done. So enjoy that. Um, also, and it's funny because I just realized you know, on Sunday when I do the whole week long and I pull the cards, I didn't write them down. So Spirit just wiped that away because I was like, wait a minute, where are my cards for today? I don't know what I pulled for today. So there's that energy. So let me pull a Lenormand card to go along with this chariot energy, this master number 22, and this emperor energy to help guide us through the day, prepare us for what might be coming. This is our tree. This is number five, and, and the tree card is often about the health. Um, sometimes it can be about the home situation. Um, this one, it's funny, this one does not come up a lot for me. But physical, spiritual, mental health, you know, being rooted, being grounded. But uh, like I said, for me, it's about kind of like health, the tree, the trunk. Could be about the family as well. And number five, of course, shifting, changing, moving number. And the health in our bodies, always, it's just a system that, you know, tries to stay in a place of homeostasis. Yes, I use that in a sentence. Um, seven of hearts is the card attached to this. And the seven of hearts for tarot is seven of cups, which is often about lots and lots and lots of choices. So we've got two dynamic numbers attached to this card, five and seven. So they're shifting, they're moving. Again, num another number seven. So really be mindful of your health today. If you've got something that's going on that you don't like, use this 22 energy and focus on the positives of it. If there's a knee, a back, a tooth, you know, just take beautiful white or golden light or whatever you feel led to do and just bring it to that place and just see the energy flowing through there, see the healing happening, see the body, you know, doing what it needs to do. But a lot of time it's just blocked energy that you focused on and, and oh, tooth pain, and that's all you focus on and it just stays there. Tooth pain in, tooth pain out, healing in, healing out, but also, because we're in a physical body, sometimes you need to go to the dentist because you just need to go and get a tooth taken out or cavity filled. 
And not doing it is worse than blocked pain or anything else because sometimes you just got to do it. It's like if you don't cut your toenails, they're going to get pretty gross. You know, if you don't brush your teeth, that's gonna, if you don't cut your hair, it's going to get long and scraggly. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe that's the look you're going for. Tarot card to go along with today is the moon card. Really enjoy this energy. Moon card number 18. So that's another number nine. That's hermit. That boils down to, you know, really getting earthy, getting grounded. The moon reflects. So trust your intuition when it comes to your health today. Really turbocharge this um, and take charge of your life and your health. Get and put that in your own hands. So many of us just rely on our doctors and our homeopaths and our chiropractors and our dentists to do the work for us. Do the work yourself. Read, educate, study. Trust your intuition. Um, you know, with me, with you know, I went in one time for my skin stuff because I'm a fair skin person. And the doctor was like, it's a PA. He's like, okay, your insurance covers five biopsies per visit. So we're going to cut you five times today. You'll come back in a month. We'll cut you five more. And then I see two more after that. Well, there was four more after that. And finally, I was like, in my head, I was like, I'm not going to let you just cut on me anymore. And there are just these, these little white spots now that are left. And um, I did have something removed here that was, um, you know, a little scary for them. Not for me. Uh, and it was a weird experience. But nothing cancerous, but pre-cancerous, whatever they want to call it. But I finally went, you know, um, I said, I'm not a vain person. I said, I don't want to be disfigured or scarred on my face. I said, but if it's not going to kill me, just leave it. If I have dry, flaky skin, I don't care. <laughs> I'll drink more water. You know, I'll adjust my diet and my vibration to bring that into place. But... Unless it might take my life or cause me pain, then let's just leave it. I don't, there's a little bump. He took off a mole here that was my grandmother had the same mole. And I remember being pissed because it was a mole here that she had. And I always thought that was my connection to her. And I remember just saying, he took my mole away. My grandmother's connecting mole. And it was so funny because I remember when I was like 20-something, I looked at a picture. And I went, oh, my gosh, my grandmother has the same mole I do. Well, I don't anymore because the doctor fried it and it's gone. Okay, would it ever become something? I don't know, but it's not what killed my grandmother. So all that being said, let me shift. So use that moon energy for your health, you know, as it happens quickly. Um, oh, the word of the day. I don't know. I didn't see what it is. Um, so let's think about the word of the day. It feels very intellectual. I keep seeing a desk um, an intellect and like conferring, guiding, and leading somebody. So the word of the day, think about it. What could it be? What could it be? Those are my impressions. The word of the day is, woo, um, camelopard. 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 Oh, it's a giraffe. A camelopard is a giraffe. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So giraffe. Um, so speaking of animals. So um, somebody sent me a, a message about that they weren't necessarily an animal person, but when they go to someone's home, the animals are all attracted to them. Now, that's kind of how I am. Um, I am an animal person now, but before I wasn't necessarily an animal person. Um, and I think an animal person, and I'm using air quotes because A, I might offend people. Some people call themselves animal people. It's just because they love and need and are needy towards animals. I don't need anything from an animal. I live with six animals right now, and they are beings. They are they are their own entities. Um, I love being around them. I come to them. They come to me. If they need to move away, I allow them to. In other words, I don't need anything from them. I don't latch onto them. I don't seek love and acceptance from them. I allow them to be who they are just as I am who I am. And if an animal, like if you're that type of person who's not really an animal person, then generally your energy is kind of centered around them and you're not energetically going, oh, come, come, come. You're so cute. You're so beautiful. Because a lot of children, why do animals run from children? Because the children are like, oh, let me hug and squeeze and kiss. That energy is oppressive and, 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 and needy. Um, and animals can feel that. And a lot of times they like it for a moment, but they're like, mm, I'm done with that stuff. So they get away. So if you're some, this is why a lot of men, the cats will come right to them because that, that man doesn't want to have nothing to do with the cat. Well, his energy is very stable and the cat appreciates that. So it'll come to them and chill out. That's why a lot of times a woman will bring the animal home and end up becoming the husband's pet. Because the husband is like, boom. And that they usually win the heart over. 
But so your energy may be very stable is why animals come to you. It may be very, very centered is why the animal comes to you. Because that's what I believe in all my study and all my work. Animals want and need a stable and comfortable environment. Um, you know, if you're needy, if you're attaching yourself, if you're, if you're trying to get from the animal, then that's going to be a challenge for them and for you. Um, and then how to best communicate them, go to my website, intuitivemessenger.org. You'll see columns and articles. And there's, there, I think there's four or five that I've written about how to connect with animals. But you want to connect from heart to heart. That's the center where you want to connect from. Pictures are the best way to communicate with animals what you want. Energy, feeling. Words come out, but you got to attach a word to the picture. I always say this, if your dog is on the couch and you don't allow them on the couch and you keep saying, get off the couch, get off the couch, usually the picture you're sending them is a picture of them on the couch. What you want to say is, go to your bed. And then the image that you send them is a picture of them in the bed. So they get that image because the words match the picture. And that's often, animals see through your bullshit. That's the biggest thing too. You know, if you're like, oh, come here. Oh, he's so sweet. Well, you're, what you're probably doing is, God, I want one of these. I'm needy. I want, look at people. I want people to see me holding this dog because they don't look like I'm special. You know, they see through it. They know, they know. They're like children who can see when people are lying to them. So, all that being said, don't forget, check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. There is an animal spread still up there as a special, but also I've got a lot of spreads on my page that if you want to check them out, you know, um, harmony and alignment, a full wellness spread, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the love spread, um, check them out. And if you have questions or comments about your own development, intuition, what's going on in and around your life, animals, um, animal totems, things like that, you can send that question to my um, email address to intuitivemitchell at gmail.com or go to, um, and that's on my website, it's down below of this video, or go to my Facebook page. But those are the two places I will be checking email and Facebook um, fan page, facebook.com slash intuitivemitchell not intuitive.messenger. I'm not going to check this too much. That's where I communicate a little bit more. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.